Viola states, cisgender is a term for a person whose gender identity and gender expression generally matches that assigned for their biological sex. Yes. Check mark for bunny. Okay. <laughs> What's a cis man then? Again, it's just a man who, who uh, a person who is identified as male at birth, who lives and express himself and identifies as a man still today. Okay. Definition is a cis man is a person who identifies as a man, mm -hmm. represents himself as masculine, and is biologically male. Okay. All right. And does that apply the same for cis woman? Yes. Okay. Just like cis, cisgender. Like sister? Right. <laughs> All right. Closeted. Closet is just means that you aren't open about your your LGBTQ-ness. So whether that's something, it's basically something that you hide, you know, in black community, oftentimes people refer to that as being in the DL or the down low, but basically it's the idea that you um, hide, you hide, you hide your LGBTQ-ness. And some of that could be that you might not even be fully aware of it yet, mm -hmm. or it also could be that you do know, but you don't tell everybody. Oh, you know, like maybe family doesn't know or work doesn't know or, or, you know, it just, it just means not everybody knows about your I guess, sexuality or gender, you know, identity. Okay. And Loyola states that a person who is keeping their LGBTQ sexuality or gender identity hidden from many or any people at times being in the closet also means not wanting to admit one's own sexual identity to oneself. Yes. Bonnie, did you study this beforehand? Girl, I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about coming out. Coming How out. Does this apply to the transgender world? Let's so talk about what I, a trans person would do coming out. Can you? A lot of people, a lot of um, more aggressive people like coming out is the idea that I'm telling people, like I'm coming out of that closet, right? I'm telling people that I'm gay, lesbian, trans, whatever. But I, I like, I personally like it better to say like, uh, like a, a, like a calling in, like I'm inviting you into this part of my life instead of like, so that it's kind of about me, um, bringing you into my world versus kind of like, I don't know. I think it just, it just changes the relationship of it. So I like the idea of bringing people in versus coming out. Pretty powerful, funny. Loyola says that closet, it means a person who is, oh, sorry. Um, Loyola says that coming out is the process of revealing your sexuality or gender identity to individuals in your life. This is a lifelong and sometimes daily process. Would you say that that is an accurate assumption of the definition? Yes, and it's always happening, you know, like, and, and it like, you know, it's like with new people that you meet, um, like at work, at, you know, there's so many different yeah. places. We're constantly in some ways coming out. And especially if we like, yeah, you know, sometimes we can kind of pass in the sense of people aren't going to notice that we're gay or notice that we're trans or notice that we're intersex. Um, and so, um, yeah, so, so, so I guess that's a nuance, if you will. And in the trans world, we call that clocking. <laughs> that means that they tell that you are that you are not passing for what you are assuming to be passing for. So that's called, ooh, she got clocked. Right, basically it's <laughs> like, they, basically people see that you're transgender. Yes. Um, it's definitely, I think, it was definitely a lot more used, I think, in the past. Nowadays, I think, like, I think there was a belief that you could, like the binary idea that either you're, I said, identified male at birth and you want to be female or, you know, or vice versa. Not this idea that maybe I actually don't want to identify as either male. I just like went, boop. Yeah. Could you hear me or? Yeah, I heard, I heard you went like this. So you, you repeat it just in case somebody didn't. Yeah. So, um, basically what was I talking about? Uh, clocking. Clocking. Oh yeah. So, but I was also talking about the idea of transgender and that is relevant when people think that if you're assigned male and you're a woman now or woman to male versus i might not identify as a man or a woman and that makes me trans or somewhere on the spectrum between man and woman and sometimes it's the idea that we're on it's more of like a circle versus you know like like the polar opposites is man and woman but actually maybe there's 
more. 